The Gainesville Police Department SWAT team is now on call again to serve the city. Too many experienced members resigned last year to keep the team active this winter. WUFT's Lauren Reynolds is here to tell us about the outlook moving forward. The larger team from the Sheriff's Office has been doing double duty. GPD's team has rebuilt enough to hit the streets and hopes to grow down the road. After being offline for about three months, the Gainesville Police Department's SWAT team has been reactivated. Six key team members resigned from their roles last year. Those vacancies are all filled now with four men and two women. Lieutenant Michael West is returning to the unit, this time as commander. So we've always had a jam up a SWAT team. Um, I've served many years as an operator back in the day, um, and I jumped at the opportunity to come back. West says being a member of the SWAT team is a huge commitment, and families and other obligations played a role in the resignations. It does take a big sacrifice uh, to be on a SWAT team, which is one of the reasons why we lose people. West thanked the Alachua County Sheriff's Office for stepping up while they were offline. We're here to help. GP SWAT knows that, and uh, we work well together, so we're here to help them and whoever else needs us. Currently, GPD's SWAT team is a Tier 2 team. West says they hope to add more members to become Tier 1 and avoid more staffing issues in the future. It's a high-risk, high-liability team. They are always put in situations where there's you know, eminent threat of life and danger, and so we want to make sure we have the right folks in charge of the team. GPD originally hoped to get the SWAT team reactivated in January, but recruitment and training took a couple more months.